what's up guys Jalo here from more pack crackers we got some call time here we're gonna open up 10 big old packs of call time uh, which means we're only gonna see rares and un rares and mythics no uncommons no commons maybe a wild card or two looks like I am 10 more packs away from my next rare wild card and four more packs until my next mythic rare wild card so i'm going to get a rare and a mythic rare wild card in this pack or in this opening i should say so let me and looks like a common as well uncommon i should say so let me just click on that and then we'll go through the cards shall we remember magic uh, arena opening um usually is going to be these types of 10 pack openings Every now and then I'll just open one or two if I need some more videos to open, but I try to just keep it to this. But anyway, first and foremost, let's start at the bottom because we got a lot of mythics apparently. Uh, we got, of course, the, the mythic thing that I mentioned earlier, another mythic wild card. Then we got old growth troll, three green mana for a 4-4 four, four troll warrior. Uh, has trample uh, when it dies, if it's... If it was a creature, return to the battlefield. If it's an aura enchantment with enchant force, you can... Wait. Hold on. I'm confused already. When old growth troll dies. If it was a creature, return it to the battlefield. Okay. It's... Okay. Return to the battlefield. It's an aura enchantment with enchant force you control. And enchanted forest has tap for two green mana. And pay one, tap it, sack it. Create a tapped 4-4 four, four green troll warrior creature token of trample. That was probably the most difficult thing I've ever had to do in Pack Crackers history. Is understand what the, that just said. I didn't swear I wanted to. I'm trying to keep this as family friendly as possible, but it's not going to work for long. But anyway, we got Battle of Frost and Fire. Uh, three, uh, blue and red. It's a saga. Uh, part 1, uh, Battle of Frost and Fire deals 4 damage to each non-giant creature and each planeswalker. Part 2, Scry 3, very well. Part 3, whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost 5 or greater this turn, draw 2 cards, then discard a card. Then we got a Seeker's Chariot, Pussy Wagon, and so much for <laughs> family friendly, right? Uh, three and uh, green for a 4-4 four, four legendary artifact vehicle. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, create two 2-2 two, two green cat creature tokens. Uh, whenever this attacks, create a token that's a copy of target token you control. Okay. Drop more tokies. Then we got Calamity Bearer. Two and two red for a giant berserker. Three, four. If a giant source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. Then we got Blessing of Frost, three and a green. Uh, snow Sorcery, distribute X 1-1 one, one counters among any number of creatures you control, where X is the amount of snow mana spent to cast a spell. Uh, then draw a card for each creature you control, power 4 or greater. Then we got... Tyrite Sanctum. Uh, land, tap it for a uh, colorless mana. Pay two, tap. Uh, target legendary creature becomes a god in addition to its other types. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Pay four, tap it, sack it. Put an indestructible counter on target god. That's the that's big change from all other gods from, say, uh, Theros, um, Amonkhet. I think Amonkhet. Maybe not Amonkhet. Definitely Theros. I think all Theros gods were indestructible. I want to say some or most of the Omniket gods were indestructible too. Could be wrong. Probably wrong. I'm just going to say I'm wrong. Anyway, we got Arnie at Broken Bro. Not Broken Bro, Broken Brow, I guess. Two and a red for a 3-3. Three, three. Legendary Human Berserker. 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 Uh, has haste, boasts for one. You may change this guy's base power to one plus the greatest power among other creatures you control until the turn. Okay. Not bad. Hey, there's that mythic rare wild card. And another rare I've gotten the three of so far. Not complaining in the least bit. 
no complaints, but I do have three of them. That's Kaya the Inexorable. Uh, three, uh, white and a black for legendary planeswalker Kaya. Uh, five mm, loyalty counters when it comes in, plus one. Uh, she can put a ghost form counter on up to one non token creature. It gains when this creature dies or is put into exile, return it to its owner's hand, and create a 1 1 white spirit creature token. Fine. Minus three, exile target non land permanent. Always good. And minus seven, you get an emblem at the beginning of your upkeep. You may cast a legendary spell from your hand, from your graveyard, or from among cards you own in exile without paying this mana cost. Take that. Uh, what? What's her name? What's its name? The the blue black planeswalker has the horns and the smoky smoke from Theros. Ashiok. That's who that is. Ashiok. Take that, Ashiok. You want to exile my stuff? Cool, I'll play it again. Whoa. Then we got Burning Ruin Demon. Burning Ruin Demon. Four and two black for a Demon Berserker. Uh, six, six, flying. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for exactly two cards not named burning rune demon that have different names okay uh, if you do reveal those cards an opponent chooses one of them put the chosen card into your hand and the other into your graveyard then shuffle your library not a bad card not too shabby doesn't have to be creature cards either so that's good so that might i might have to put that one in one of my decks that i use we'll see but anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. I got another Kaya. We got that sweet mythic. I got a mythic I can use any any darn way I want to. We got a pussy wagon and this troll. This sorcery as well. And this bro. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Uh, remember, uh, tune in every weekday, Monday through Friday to watch more pack crackers and if you keep on watching i'm gonna go ahead and keep on cracking guys later